I think he knows the car is the only evidence and that is why he is smashing it. Because if it gets destroyed by accident, that car cannot be used as proof anymore. Before we get started though, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my social media at Fujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at Fujoshi. Finally, this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into chapter 38 of The Pawn's Revenge. Man, the whole time that I was reading this chapter, my whole comment was like, Boy, do you even know how to drive? Your boyfriend tried to teach you a couple of chapters ago, but you went nuts in that car and here you go again driving. But I really do think that he's doing really good here. Just hope that he stays in the line and watch for other people around him that are also driving. And if you're asking why he crashed the car like that, I have a feeling he does know how to drive. It's just this whole car crash, he did it intentionally because the main evidence is the car. And I think in chapter 30, Song Rock confirmed that the car was the only incriminating thing left. And he said that cleaning the car wasn't enough to get rid of all of the traces of evidence. Then. What did he do with the car? Well, he got it destroyed. <laughs> because if the car gets destroyed, the police would have no proof to accuse the two of them. And I can't believe that I'm saying this, but I kind of feel like this to have the most healthiest or probably a healthier relationship than the other boys love that I'm currently reading right now. They really do communicate really well and, you know, the other things. And their boundaries, when it's crossed, they are very vocal about it. And it's so obvious that they really care for each other. Yes, the story is toxic, but their relationship is not, you know? It's nice to see that even though with all of the chaos that's going around them, they can tell one another that the other guy got the other guy's back, right? And I kind of wish that Song Rock would just let go of that woman because this two together is the power couple of the century. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys' love that I'm interested in. Feel free to leave me a message and converse with me in my Discord channel. I'd love to hear back from you. And please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through www.zildfujoshi.xyz Also, don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below. Again, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.